Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Freeze. Back at the game with another bang. Today we're gonna be reacting to I investigated if aliens built the pyramids by Tyler Oliveira. This guy there'll be videos about hey bro, how long have you been doing videos for bro? Cause he like he found the formula, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And he had, look how many subs he got, bro. He got the secret formula for real. That's me in front of the pyramids of Giza in Egypt and the pyramids of the sun in Mexico with one simple question. Did aliens build the pyramids? <laughs> no, not a chance. No, we don't have Owens here. I think uh, we are the aliens. What do you mean? How is it possible? 5,000 pound rocks. Hey, bro, all these, all these people we talking to, bro, they, they're uneducated and they they don't know what they're talking about. He said, we aliens. You stupid. What are you talking about? What are you talking about right now, bro? What are you talking about? Across my, hundreds of miles of ground? Yeah. Is that possible? Yeah. Stacked all the way up here? Yeah. I think it's almost kind of racist just to think that it's alien. Did you notice how all- <gasps> What are you talking about? But I'm telling you, but uneducated people, bro. All major world pyramids are aligned with the Orion's Belt constellation and how they appear to be aligned with one another despite being built thousands of miles and thousands of years apart. And notice they're perfectly aligned with the cardinal directions. Their size ratio perfectly matches the Earth and the coordinates mysteriously match the speed of light. How could humans have built these pyramids 2,500 years before Jesus? What if I told you they didn't? Archaeologists will tell you they could build the great pyramid but i defy them to do that the great pyramid is literally impossible then do it then build a pyramid you can't build no pyramid like that bro. it's certainly does. how the hell are you gonna get a 2,000 ton block like 400 feet in the air you, with what what, what what are you gonna use for that doesn't make sense as the two of around. a megalomaniac pharaoh what if l adbo l adbo come on bro ancient Egyptians had some help from the gods they worshipped that were, in reality, extraterrestrial beings lending them technology far ahead of their time. I flew to Egypt to ask the Egyptians myself. See them looming in the distance? Wow, those things are huge. But was immediately met with disgust as I questioned the origin of their culture's greatest achievement and their biggest source of tourism. Aliens? Build that? Okay. Egyptian. Oh, Egyptians. Yeah. Okay. But my local guide okay, like that for from Egypt had a few words of advice if I wanted to avoid being imprisoned here. You cannot record like that. What do you mean? You have to get the permission first. Ah, I see. And we gotta lay low for now. But Gob's getting a little nervous with our antics right now. Do you guys think it was built by aliens? It seems impossible for humans to have dragged 5,000 plus pounds. Did you see the aliens? No. So why are you? Are you I didn't see the Egyptians? Religious? Yes. Did you see God? No. Hey, bro, the nigga. Oh, shit, how to be careful, son. Oh, shit, bro, you flaming him in front of his fucking family, bro. Chill. Okay, let's, let's not I, use that logic. But I see the power of the god. Okay, I see the power see the of the aliens. Of aliens built the pyramids? <laughs> no, it's not possible. No, we don't have Owens here. Who built these? How is not possible? You don't know what's possible, bro. How do you know it's possible that people build that? Huh, you don't know, you don't know shit. <laughs> All the ancient Egypt. How did they do it? Actually, the scientists don't know about this till now. The old Egyptian, ancient, taller than us, and have really. A build. So we think the Egyptians were stronger and taller than the modern day Egyptians. Yeah, for sure, does. Really, you believe this too? Yeah, no. I believe. Where are the bones at? What in the bones? What in like skeletons show that? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's kind of a crazy theory. He said he thinks the uh, ancient Egyptians were stronger and taller. No. Yeah, come on. Like, show me the proof. What are you yapping about? <laughs> we got a ticket. Let's go. But just so we're on the same page, according to the official narrative, it would have taken tens of thousands of workers working every single day for over 20 years straight, dragging over 2 million stones weighing 2.5 tons each as far as 500 miles away. Up a giant ramp they spent 10 years building beforehand to drag these 5,000 pound rocks up using rope and papyrus twine. That's assuming they... Bro, who's pulling a who's pulling a rock, bro? Big as fuck. I'm not, bro. Oh my, God. I'm fucking jumping off of the fucking pyramid, bro. You make me carry more than one block up the pyramid, bro. 
somehow had the mathematical Holy. knowledge and godlike precision to create them as we see them today. Some grandparents don't say aliens. It's not aliens. They are my grandparents who they built. Oh, your grandparents have no clue. Yes, my parents built this. Despite the fact that nothing about the pyramid's construction makes any sense, no one here was willing to actually discuss the impossibility of it all. We gotta keep a low radar right now. I think aliens built the pyramids? What? The Egyptians here were absurdly protective of what they believed to be the work of their ancestors. That was a close call. And my guide was getting nervous the more questions I asked. Okay, let's first talk about the history. It just, is insanity Just, just one here. minute. Okay. Ragab is I nervous. Don't, I don't want you to be in trouble because we don't have a permission to record. I see. We don't want to go to jail. I'm on the ops radar, no doubt. There's a ton of police out here. Police already took our drone the moment we came in and they don't like me. Well, they like you. They don't like what you do. That's it. <laughs> they don't want people to think that the Egyptians did not actually build these pyramids. I believe that civilization were built by, by our grandparents. And you're also insulting your, like, history, kind of. And that's true. As each pyramid of that, there is a sarcophagus that should be for some dead person. Now, this is an interesting theory, but the pharaoh's mummy was never actually found. No original mummies found in any pyramid, for that matter. How could they have done it? We have to go all the way up there to finish the pyramid. Yeah. What just happened? <laughs> you guys are taking me to the jail. The Egyptian jail is terrible. <laughs> We're going to jail today. Oh. How about we walk around here a little bit? Let's take a look for ourselves. Do you believe aliens put the pyramids? <laughs> pyramids? Yeah, why? Well, I, I need to go to sleep. It was time to go inside yeah, the pyramid did. and take a look for myself. Like Do you believe aliens built these? No. Ancient people were smarter than the modern. Really? Ones. Do you think we lost their techniques and technology? They were smarter back then. Bro, if you don't show a boomer ass, elf looking ass ears, red lipstick, fucking mo, fucking, fucking pair pair flags branded glass, nigga, you don't show a talk about it. You telling me, bro, if they were smarter back then, I'm not even gonna. Absolutely. I don't know. I don't believe in aliens doing this. I believe in human resourcefulness, intelligence, and uh, daring mind. Okay. Okay, this is quite the tunnel I'm seeing right here. These rocks are seemingly carved straight through. You guys think aliens are Was that a. Bro, am I, was that a dude? That's a girl, my bad. Absolutely no. No? no? no. Really? Absolutely no. Who do you think built them? Egyptians. Really? Yeah. How? 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 What do you mean, how is it possible? 5,000 pound rocks dragged across oh, yeah, hundreds yeah. of miles of ground? Yeah. Is that possible? Yeah. Stacked all the way up here? Tyler's asking good questions. You're, like, ignorant. Like, I don't know. Like, you you don't want to be wrong, but you're wrong. Why would you like just be like, I, I don't know, bro? Like, yeah. Without human or alien intervention? You don't need alien intervention. Have human What? How, though? How? Yeah. You're talking thousands of years of yeah. generations of stonemasons passing the information on on how to work the stone. How can we not recreate it today? Did we lose the information and the technology? We haven't lost the technology. Technology is in fact. Uh, so we have no need to recreate the yeah. thing. Okay. But what's more logical is that alien intervention. No, it's not. Because there's no proof. You're just saying, oh, this must have been built by aliens. But there's no proof. He's asking. He's not telling you nothing. Whoa, whoa. There, there isn't any proof, but there's proof. This is living proof. There's, there's no documentation as to how they actually built this. Yes, there is. Where? Become an Egyptologist and you'll find Are you an Egyptologist? All. No. But why do, you, why do you need receipts? There are burial chambers of all the people who worked here. We, apparently we've only them. found one sarcophagus. And he's... You're, you're judging things and saying things without all the information. Okay. That guy is so delusional. After having to bribe 20 people at Cairo TSA to get my stuff back, and with corruptions of all forms everywhere I step foot here in Egypt, do I believe the Egyptian government would lie about their knowledge of the pyramids to benefit themselves somehow? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, this is getting really tight up here. Do you think the aliens built the pyramids? I think so. Yeah? Wow, we're going high up. This of is course, kinda... the realest guy in this interview, in this whole video is going to be a black guy, bro. Because nigga... Some niggas, I don't know. That's kind of racist. I ain't gonna lie. I'm just saying, like, out of everyone he's spoken to, one, the one guy that says, "Yeah, I think aliens built it," is black. He speaks facts. Like he's not like denying. He's not like, oh, it's not, it's not, it's not possible at all. It's not, it's not possible. It's, it's, it's not. I'm fixing my guts. It's not, it's not possible. Like he's actually like, yeah, maybe. Kind of unreal. I like, cannot. Real. He's real. How prehistoric civilization could have done this? Look at the size of the, each of these individual rocks. 
How could you get them up the steepness of this angle? This is crazy. We can barely walk up here, yet humans without modern day machinery are dragging these rocks all the way up? Either Maybe elephants. You know, that's just one, my guess. Maybe they had elephants. We lost some of the most powerful technology of all humans. Like four elephants going straight, pulling a, ro a rock? I think that's possible. I, mean, I don't know how many elephants you got by human civilization, or there was alien intervention. Holy smokes. This is unreal. The precision of these lines is unfathomable. It's a straight line. Let's keep going through this tunnel. Holy smokes. The question is, what other caverns, tunnels, and holes are they hiding? And look at this. What lies beyond those gates? A non-mainstream theory suggests that these were used as some sort of infinite power sources, pulling electromagnetic energy from the Earth. Pyramids around the world are like a big network of computers. All the pyramids in the world are aligned. You see granite, sandstone, limestone. It's a technology, it's a power plant. We see these acting like transmitters for energy. I believe they were experimenting with electromagnetic energy and gravity. Nikola Tesla believed the pyramids were built as energy generators to create limitless energy, and he even successfully recreated the phenomenon with his own so-called pyramid. Although pyramids uh, exhibit uh, fractal energy much more efficiently than other types of designs, but what he discovered was it was the location of the pyramids that created the power. And when he, he built his uh, facility, he did so according to the laws of where the pyramids at Giza were constructed. And it had to do with the elliptical orbit of the Earth and uh, those sites' relationship hey, to the actual equator. And because of that, he believed he could transmit power wirelessly. Just before the government took his lifelong work, as his workshop coincidentally burned down, and all we're left with are fragments of his unfinished work ideas and inventions. What the fuck, I'm world? What the fuck is the... You want it? But we would have flying with cars. Our fragments do of that. his unfinished work ideas and inventions. The discopter, bro. We would have had a goddamn flying car. What the hell? Nah, I'm gonna say hell, something controversial. I think the Egyptians stumbled upon the greatest treasure in human civilization and claimed it as their own. I'm sweaty, but thanks to this video sponsor, I have air up. Wanna hydrate? Egyptians? Yeah. Okay. A lot of people are drinking the Kool-Aid, and I didn't meet a single person at all in disbelief until I met this guy. I think uh, we are the aliens. Really? Yeah. Uh, do you think? I think it's very unlikely that humans built these pyramids. Here's one thing you need to do before buying Bro. anything online. Don't spend another dime on Amazon well, until you watch this first. Well, no, we're waking up at three. Okay. Maybe four or more. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Time is there? Nine forty. Okay, not bad. Twenty-five hundred BC. I agree. It seems too insane, right? They, they talk about levitating, like sounds, vibrations, and stuff, and I feel uh, that can be true. The mystery surrounds sound. You can see how different sound, how you can. Sh shape different geometry geometrical patterns with sound with sound like graham hancock and these guys they are saying like the pyramids are much older even up to eighty thousand years older okay and uh, i found it really fascinating 
That's why I'm here, actually. Thank you, sir. After talking to this man, confirming the potential use of sound to create unlimited clean energy, utilizing the pyramid as a giant power generator, the police were onto us, and my guide, Ragab, was nervous. We're gonna get kicked out? to talk to someone here. What do you mean? I mean the police everywhere. Okay, should we leave? And we don't have a permission. I'm I trying see. to push you to some oh, I see. Okay, let's go. I believe that if most people believe that aliens built these, an integral part of the tourist economy would disappear. It's, it's or it might even be better, it's actually. Tracking. We will talk about this later. Okay, is it risky? Yeah. Um, it's just about the idea. They don't want the idea cross through other, other people's minds. Scared. With tourism comprising 12% of Egypt's GDP, my silly theories could destabilize this entire country's economy. So, we got out of the main tourist section and went to a vendor location to speak to some locals. The biggest, most far-fetched fictional theory of them all is that humans could have built these. The more I asked, the more I realized people were afraid to dare question the mainstream theory. Uh, aliens built the pyramids? No. <laughs> no, not a chance. No? Who do you think built them? I think it was slavery, guys. I would think that maybe probably the hell? No? Who do you think built them? I think... Who do you think you are, nigga? Oh, fake ass Dior shoes, nigga. Fuck you, wait. Don't talk to me like that, bitch. Whole ass, nigga. Fuck you. Bro, if someone talked to me like that. Oh my god, bro. You would just. If I was the camera, bro, all you'd see is the camera hit the floor, bro. And, bro, you're not gonna talk to me like that, bro. Like I'm, a, like, I'm a bitch. Like. I think it was slavery, guys. I would think that maybe probably like a piece of wood and like something, like a barrel or something. They are our grand, grand, grandfather. Okay. How could they have done it, though? How is this even possible? Wallahi. Oh, by the sand. Yeah, he tried to make like a mountain by sand. Okay. And build the pyramid. So sand ramps. Sand. I ain't a bad idea. I ain't gonna lie. The ramps. You believe that? That is the only logic way. Who built the pyramids? Kind of makes the sense. pharaohs. How do you guys think they got the rocks up there? Probably strong, very strong people. Strong people. Yeah. Yeah. Camel beneath me. I began my one-way trip to the Sphinx, which, ironically, may hold the most evidence of the pyramids being much older than mainstream Egyptologists believe. The temple of the Sphinx is the best evidence that it's older than people think it is. All this evidence of thousands of years of rainfall on these walls, because the last time there was rain in the Nile Valley was like 9,000 years ago. So it had to be thousands of years older than that because it has erosion from thousands of years of rainfall. The Sphinx, the Egyptians don't talk about it. Like it, it, it's just there and they don't know when it was built or why. There's the Sphinx. Look at that. And after bribing our way to the front of the too. Sphinx, Sorry. Hi. Hi. thank you. How's done? I finally got a good look at the Sphinx. Just look at those layers of erosion. Come on. But we had to leave because Ragab was paranoid we were going to get our camera confiscated. Now, did I get you arrested today? Uh, I hope not. Okay. Okay, we're going to get out of here and cut this. Let's say we grant Egypt this achievement of human willpower, godlike mathematical understanding, and precise knowledge of the a world when the world was him. believed to be flat. Can we also assume the exact same genius went into building pyramids 7,000 miles away and over 2,600 years later in, I don't know, Mexico? I flew to the city of the gods to look at the Pyramid of the Sun myself oh, with my guy Carlo. Be Before we go explore these pyramids, I want to tell you about the sponsor of Carlo, right? Watermelon? Watermelon. Okay, Carlo has Mobile games are going big. Play Isn't that Weaver? Click out these pyramids. Right here? No, is that one right there? That big boy right there. The perimeter of the base of that pyramid is nearly identical to hey, the pyramid fact of chat, I went there. Giza. The outline of these three pyramids from an aerial POV matches Orion's yeah, belt almost oh, perfectly. Oh, as a matter of fact. And also, one of the materials used in that Chichi. pyramid is allegedly Chichi found in Lisa. Brazil. Yeah, I went there, yeah, fam. Yeah, right. I got How did you get you? Yeah. Um, that's a mystery, actually. Now, historians don't actually know who built yeah, these pyramids. Yeah, I got a Jaguar. And many believe the Aztecs may have built it. They actually found this city hundreds of years after it was abandoned. And given how cool it was, they decided to stay. Teotihuacan was a huge city. It was like 20 square miles big. We should think this place, such as the point of contact that the Teotihuacans have with the, the deity, with, the gods, with the gods, the aliens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, whatever interpretation you want to make out of it. And these guys had a great knowledge of geometry, math, astronomy. If there's something to communicate with out there, they probably knew how. Who were the Teotihuacan people? Oh, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Walking through the city built by an unknown civilization, we made it to the Pyramid of the Sun, another pyramid aligned Pretty with the cardinal place. directions. Holy smokes. That's impeccable. That is huge. And it's epic. The stairway 
is in great condition. That's crazy. The question is, how could the perimeter of the base of this what pyramid be exactly almost equal to the pyramids of Giza? It's almost as if the two civilizations communicated with one another somehow, some way, across thousands of years and thousands of miles. Maybe God, maybe an alien. Yeah, we still don't know what were their main intentions or what was the main purpose of the exact way of building it. As we headed to the Pyramid of the Moon, I learned something unusual from Carlo. This place was designed specifically to amplify yes, sound. Sir. Some believe that the sound and frequency was built in such a way... Oh, imagine hearing some type of sound being played. Well, that, is how that they could communicate with a higher conscience and talk with other dimensions, oh, aka aliens. Coincidentally, even the pyramids of Giza were built with some very dimensions, aka pictures. aliens. Coincidentally, even the pyramids of Giza were built with some very specific frequencies and sounds in mind. And the different frequency ranges, not only were those fine-tuned towards the human voice. In other words, chanting, there was generated incredibly low frequencies. And this seems to have been deliberate. They cause a sense that we're entering into otherworldly environments. Right now that you're even clapping right now, yeah. we're enacting something that they might have done thousands of years ago. They're yeah, hooting and hollering yeah. and it's bouncing off the walls coming our way. Yep. Pretty impressive. The question is, why would the civilization go to such lengths to build these hyper-specific frequencies? And then why would they leave it all behind? And it turns nice. out, a lot of these pyramids were used for rituals, dark rituals. So. And what are these tinier buildings surrounding it? All of them are altars all around. So this was designed for human sacrifices. There were other kind of rituals happening here. Did practice human sacrifices. Hey, I heard they be throwing babies down the fucking, like they'll go to the top of the pyramid and the inside will be filled with water, right? And there'll be like a little hole to see the water. They'll throw babies in that bitch. What the fuck? Uh, an ancient system of children being used to have their energy sucked or to basically conjure these entities. Heavy. This nigga yapping. I, how did he know that, bro? Who, who the hell is he to know that, bro? This nigga said something about like like a school shooting like was scripted. Like, bro, what are you, what are you talking about, bro? Their energy suck. How do you suck the energy out of a child? Well, it's right. interdimensional. And so these Honestly. entities will give you power or give you knowledge or do things for you or attack your enemies. But the payment in mythology, you've got to pay them in the blood of innocence. And that's in every culture, that's every society. Awesome. Let's just say this. Importantly, you take DMT and, and torture some kids to death, you're going to be with the devil. What if all of these cultures, thousands of miles and thousands of years apart, gain secret knowledge or technology by the so-called gods or... Get away with a great deal bro, at did the you Hyundai see that, bro? Oh, El Hat, bro. Now's the El time to Hat, get in bro. and get away. Did you see that? How did they make that, bro? I don't even know how to fucking carve a rock. They carved a whole stone into a fucking dragon head. <clears throat> Aliens by offering them human sacrifices. Why else would the Aztec sacrifice over 80,000 people in four days at the reconsecration of the great four days pyramid of. So coffee so for that. The recon reconsideration of the Great Pyramid of Tencho Chitlin in 1418 that's sacrifice 80,000 prisoners over the course of Tenochtitlan. Could it be that our ancient ancestors were not primitive fools? Instructions were given about where to worship, how to build temples, and what to kill as offering, causing these monumental construction projects. And you look around, you definitely see that this was a planned city since the very beginning, you know, there's no doubt about that. As I walked up to one of the ritualistic temples, I wondered if the tourists and locals visiting were also defensive of the origins of these pyramids. Do you believe that aliens built these? <laughs> no. No? <laughs> Who do you think built these? The Teotihuacan community, which is like a mix of all the different Mexican cultures. Do you think there was some divine or alien-like? Yeah, this is bitch. Is this the bitch from from the from a, from Egypt? Bro. Invention? Not at all. Why not? Because I think humans are very perfectly capable. Oh, I think I seen her in the intro. I'm well, doing that. But take the Egy Egyptian pyramids as an example. We can't even replicate the engineering given the tools and materials they had Again, then. I think it's almost kind of racist just to think that. I reject that, that like theory. It. What are you talking about? Oh, I see what she's saying because Mexicans, she's saying like, oh, you can't say, like, you can't take it away from the Mexicans. Bro, just, bro now you're like pulling at me, bro. Like, 
I'm like, I don't know how to combat that, bro. Great. This was this is, this is I, I knew this would come up. I reject racism. This was Mexicans. Who do you think built these? Humans. I believe they had the technology capable of building these back in the day. Uh, definitely yes. Yeah. Aliens construirlos? No. People, no. no, no. 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 Finally, I met someone who thought for himself. Is it possible that aliens create us? Ah, yes. Yes. See? We do. The humans cannot uh, uh, reply this kind of yes. Yes. See. See. Yeah. Too complex. Okay. For the human now. Pero creo que los aliens son seres interdimensionales. I'm not gay, bro. And he got good build. I don't, I don't like the hair a little too much, but he got good build. No, like, como I like, like, no homo, bro, no homo. Like, he, 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 like, I ain't gonna say nothing, but like, he look good. Bro, what did I just say, bro? Oh my god. <laughs> he look good, bro. I don't know how else to say that, bro. Like, he, I want his fit, bro. Like. Okay. Why can we not replicate these pyramids today? Civilizaciones pasadas tuvieron pues esa oportunidad de poder tener contacto con estos seres. So you go back thousands of years, wizards are taking drugs in these temples and interfacing with these palantirs, these crystal balls, which aren't really crystal balls, it's their psychic focus. Hey bro, that could be true though. Like we what are you talking about? Like the witches, the the fucking wizards. Like it could be it could be yapping. But what if you like you take some type of like he said, like you take DMT, you torture some kids, and you see the devil. Like you probably be able to see something because I don't like um some some certain drugs. You'll see something that's not there, and you'll see like clowns or something. Like who's who's to say you don't see like God or these Egyptian gods? You know, like or aliens. Like that's it could that's a pretty good theory of an interdimensional connection. And it's like the things that aliens tell them, they come out and they tell scientists and it works. Eh, más adelante, cuando la sociedad esté como en un punto más avanzado, como que está en el punto en los que los extraterrestres quieren que estemos, es que pronto van a, a surgir o se van a mostrar. Aunque igual los avistamientos ahorita son mucho más como elevados que antes, porque de pronto vienen cosas muy interesantes. But sadly, these people were still the minority and the real truth seekers are outshadowed by the general public refusing to change their beliefs in fear of undermining the significance of their culture, identity. You think I was lying? He's selling what I got. Yo! ...and economy by arguing that these pyramids were built by a different people of a different time altogether. You know, they have like some kind of pride. Sure. Los aliens crearlos? Of course not. No? No, no. ¿Por qué? Porque no. Ve un poco más, lee un poco más de libros, amigo. Te recomiendo leer books. Ah, oh, bicho ass, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? Books, read books is the best. Ah. Date, uh, oh, I need to read books? Yes, please. <laughs> why are people so hesitant to believe dating. the truth? They are study. Let me ask you this. Why does the perimeter are really hesitant to believe the truth? They are study. Let me ask you this. Why does the perimeter of the base of that pyramid match the pyramids of Giza nearly perfectly? I tell you. Tell me. Really don't know. No logic <laughs> needs to be applied to this whole process, and we need to free ourselves from the dogma you, of the academic mainstream. Also, whoever has the most viewed TikTok... Hey, w video, w video, Tyler. I ain't gonna lie, W video.